In Super Mario 64 DS, I could get over that. I think Luigi could just backflip over it normally, and other guys could do other stuff, but no one cares about Super Mario 64 DS except some people who probably aren't as upset about me talking about it as I theoretically imagine them to be, and you can just do this if you don't like the concept of platforming, which I always skip out on unnecessary platforming. So, despite the fact I've tried and failed multiple times at this point, I'm just going to ignore the 100 coin star until I get the red coins, which won't be for a while, and I will get a bunch of regular stars, so I feel like I've accomplished something even though the time spent would be spent equally, regardless of the order I do it in. It'll make me feel a little bit better. Do -do 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 -do. 84 stars, haha, -ha, 20 more than a significant number, and... 80 is actually not a significant number in this game, or in any other Mario game, I'm not sure what I'm thinking of. Or it might be in this game, I forget. No, it's not, it's 70. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, this is the Bomb Battlefield's music game. I can't remember if I said this in this recording session or not, I don't think I did. I think I might have, actually. Who cares? Um, whoops. I got rid of my platform. But, um, yeah, it's acceptable enough because bob on Battlefield, quote-unquote, is really just a Super Mario 64 main theme, and it's used in four levels instead of the standard two for most songs. So here's another star basically rewarding you for being able to get to the top of the mountain as Baby Mario, except it's slightly further and you have to do slightly more do it. Yeah, because backflipping is totally going to work. Okay, yeah, just gonna be an N64 game on me and not let me do anything right. Yeah, one thing I liked about Mario Galaxy as it is that it was entirely possible to, like, skip a bunch of stuff. I like how that tree scales up and down with you, but, um, Mario Galaxy, it was possible to skip a bunch of stuff with fancy footwork, which... Oh, and this is more than possible, but it's also more than possible not to do stuff just because of random limitations of the N64. And at least Galaxy is kind of easy to map if it'll work or not. Map in your head. That's probably not the world's best word for that particular action, but you know what? I'm tired. Talking at all in any semi-legible way is good enough for me at the moment. So, really? Wall flipping doesn't work? No, it doesn't. I have no idea why I thought that was called wall flipping. I really hate that jump. It is the worst part of the level. And I can't even make that one, and then I die because it's a stupid level. Yeah, I like the concept behind this level, but the realization is less than ideal, honestly. I'm just gonna get the plucking piranha flowers here. Uh, where are they? They're like a million big ones that don't actually take any more to hit. Did I make that die in its transitional stage between being big and small? I don't know, maybe I did. I feel awfully special if I did. They're actually too big to efficiently attack you, so you know what? I'm going to quit trying to show off. I do think you can make them not be quite as big as they know be, and they actually give you two coins apiece, which makes them pretty good for 300 coins, but there's more than enough coins not to have to bother with such a thing. That is pretty funny how you can kill them in their transitional stage, and they'll stay in that stage for their dying animation. And the last one of those had a star living inside of its roots. Good job. Okie dokie, we have plucked the piranha flower, so now time to pluck a wiggler. This is actually probably one of the most good boss concentrations, because there's like Koopa the Quick, who's almost like a boss, there's Wiggler, which is a boss, there's piranha flowers, which are almost like a boss. I guess it's kind of off to call Koopa the Quick a boss, because he's a specific special type of racer. More like Koopa the Slow, honestly. Although he is pretty fast in this one. If you don't know where you're going, it can be a hard race. Metal, metal. 
I like the noise N64 Koopas make. And I guess GameCube Koopas if you count Double Dash, although I'm not sure if it works. I did not know Slider played during these races. I was not really thinking about it in the past, and... Uh... Yeah. That was the best possible way of going about that. I feel special. Like, okay, no, I did not want to go in the pipe. Wow, I just barely beat him. But that was pretty hilarious, I have to say. I think it might have even been slightly faster than walking normally against the wind. I'm proud of myself. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go. Here we go! Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so what's next? I think it's fight a Wiggler. Oh, it's Wiggler's Red Coins. Why does Wiggler's Red Coins come before Wiggler's Wiggler Wiggler? Whatever. Um, I'm not hurt by it. I will, in fact, quit my whining, kill some Piranha Plants, get 100 coins, not have to deal with that in the Let's Play anymore. Well, except for the other levels, which I haven't done yet, which... Don't bother thinking about that too much. Um, certainly not. Keeps me sane. I like these better than the sleepy piranha plants, honestly, since you can... I don't know, they don't seem to be quite as bad. I don't know why. Uh, Mario Sunshine didn't have piranha plants, did it? Oh, wait, yes, it did. They were just weird. Two more. Oops. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry for the short part.